Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can break this pillar into small pieces using self-fracture add-on that comes with Blender itself. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful. But before going to that, if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like short 3D simulation videos, you can check out my second channel, link in the description. So now without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here I am using Blender 3.0, nice. So now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So now let's import our pillar model. So here I got this model from Sketchfab, download link in the description. So go to this file option, it is an object file, go to this import and select this wavefront obj and locate the file. So here I got this file here which is an object file and import. So here we got our model. So let me place this just above to the grid. So let me select this move tool and press three on the keyboard for side view. And let me place this just above to the grid here. So press G Z and let me place this here. Okay, fine. So if I move on to this wireframe mode, you can see this got dense mesh. So first let me reduce this mesh count. So go to this modifier options, add modifier and add decimate modifier. So by using this modifier, we can reduce this mesh count here. So ratio, I will change this to 0.25. So for one, we got 221,000 words faces. And if I reduce this to 0.5, let's see how many we get. We got 55,000 faces here. So I think this is good. So now let me apply this modifier, okay. And if you observe clearly, this mesh is not proper. So now we need to adjust the mesh. So again, we will use another modifier. So go to this add modifier once again and add a remesh modifier. Fine. So beyond this voxel and voxel size, let it be 0.1 or else let me change this to 0 0.05. So, okay. I think this is fine and enable this smooth shading option. Okay, nice. So now let's break this pillar into small pieces so for that we will be using add-on that comes with the blender which is called self fracture order if you are not enabled that go to this edit preferences come to this add-ons and here look for cell so here we got this self fracture by default this will be unchecked enable it and save those preferences so now let me select this model so go to this object quick effects and select this self fracture okay so here we got this pop-up so in the source limit indicates the number of pieces we want to break the object so currently it is set 200 so i will leave this 200 if you want to increase the count you can increase that okay so now scene collection i will create a collection so that all the pieces will be collected into a scene collection so let me rename this as pieces only and now click on ok button so here we got these pieces separated so if i hide out this collection this is the main pillar and this is the fractured pillar so let me select one of the pieces here so i will select this piece here come to this physics property add rigid body so type let it be active and shape let it be convex only so now if i play this we can see that piece will be falling down so now we need to copy this property to rest of the pieces so make sure this piece is selected first and later press B on the keyboard for box selection and select rest of the pieces. Now come to this object, rigid body and copy from active. Nice. So now if I play this, the pillar will be falling down. Okay. So now let's create a colliding plane here so that our pieces will not fall down to infinity. So go to this add mesh select plane. So press as increase the scaling here like this. Okay. So press 3 for side view and let me place this just below. So press G, Z. So I think this is fine. Okay. So now if I play this, still it is going through because we have not added the rigid body properties to this plane. So select the plane, select this rigid body, but type change it to passive. Okay. So now if I play this, we can see we got these pieces falling down at a time so here i don't want that to happen so first let me hide out this plane once again so select the plane press h on the keyboard to hide it so first select any of the piece here 
so press b for box selection and draw to select rest of the pieces so come to this object rigid body and click on this connect button so it will connect all the pieces through constraints so here you can see we got this constraints here so now if i play this these pieces will not fall down so now let's go to this add mesh select uv sphere so let me place this uv sphere here and shade smooth it so now beyond the first frame add a keyframe for this sphere press i on the keyboard and add a keyframe for location now move 10 frames forward in timeline and let me bring the position of this sphere here like this okay and press i on the keyboard and add a keyframe for this location or else let me change the distance for this starting frame press i and let me bring it here move to this 10th frame so let it be here press i and add a keyframe for location so now press t or else right click on this keyframes make sure both keyframes are selected right click interpolation mode and change it to linear so now if i play this we got this location animation so now we need to add rigid body for this sphere also so select this sphere come to this rigid body type let it be active so now if i play this our sphere will be falling down so as the sphere has got the keyframes we need to enable this animated option so enable it so now if i play this it stops at this 10th frame so come to this 9th frame beyond 9th frame here add a keyframe for this animated one so now move one frame forward on 10th frame uncheck this animated option and add a keyframe so till 9th frame this position keyframes will be active and after 9th frame this rigid body will occur so now if i play this we can see that this uv sphere is hitting this statue but it is not creating much impact so let's increase the mass of this sphere so select this sphere in mass let me increase this to 25 and let's see this once again so now if i play this okay so now the sphere is making this statue to fall down so here we don't want that so let's select these constraints so select the first constraint scroll down to the last constraint here hold shift key and select this last constraint come to this breakable options enable it right click here and select this copy to selected so that this breakable option will be selected to rest of the constraints so now let's play this once again so still we are not finding any changes so now let's see the threshold option so now if i play this for the threshold value of 10th we are not finding any difference so let me change this to one and right click and copy to selected so now if i play this we can see we are getting something here so let me increase the strength so this indicates the strength to make the pieces to join together now if i play this so now it is okay but it is not that much good so let me do one thing so first of all let me hide out this so first of all let me select a piece and let me select rest of the pieces now come to this object rigid body and let me calculate the mass so click on this mass so here we will get this preset so here i will select i think granite i will select this granite solid or else let me select this granite broken okay so after that it will calculate here so each and every piece will get different masses so if i select this piece it is of 2000 kg and if i select this piece it is of 2.4 2400 kg and if i select this piece it is of 181 kg okay so now if i play this so here the pieces are falling down so as the weight is increased we need to increase the threshold for this constraint so let me select the constraint move to the last one hold shift key select the constraints here and let me increase the threshold value to 500 and let me see so right click copy to selected so now if i play this okay they are falling down so now let me increase this i need to increase the mass of this value also so select this uv sphere and i will increase this to thousand and let me see this once again okay so again i need to increase the threshold of these pieces because the pieces are falling down before only so again let me so select the constraints once again move to the last constraint hold shift key 
and let me increase the threshold to 800 right click and copy to selected so now if i play this it is heavy so let me reduce this to 600 so this we need to check manually so depending upon the scene it may vary okay so threshold value of 600 is okay for me so now if i play this once again you can see we got these two pieces are falling down before later our statue is breaking down okay so here we can see we are finding the cracks before only so in order to hide them so we need to select this main pillar so bring it back here and we need to add modifier so come to this modifier options add modifier and add solidify modifier so here let me change the offset thickness value to one okay so now we can say we got rid of those cracks here those are not visible so now here i need to find the frame where this uv spear is hitting this pillar so i think at 12th frame this spear will hit this pillar so beyond this 11th frame select this main pillar which doesn't have cracks on it so come to this object properties visibility add a keyframe for this view viewport and renders okay so now move one frame forward so at the time of this impact disable this viewport and renders and add a keyframe so till 11th frame the main pillar will be visible and after that our cracks pillar will be visible so in this way we can hide out the cracks so now let's add our plane here once again fine so now here you can see we got our animation here so instead of baking this we can convert this animation into keyframes so for that let me select the pieces here so select all the pieces hold shift key and select all the pieces go to this object options come to this rigid body and select this bake to keyframes so here we can select the number of keyframes so i will leave this to 1 to 250 and simply hit on this ok button so now you can say we got this animation in keyframes so in this way we can break any objects into small pieces using this cell fracture add-on in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye